these three Kittle updates are gonna help you go from blank screen to near complete project. So be sure you watch through to the end so you know exactly what's changed and how to get the most out of these features. First up, we have brand new prompt suggestions. When you click in the prompt box at the bottom of the editor, you will see quick start suggestions. And when you click on one, a prompt will be added automatically, which gives you a great starting place to make edits or switch up the content of that prompt. We've also included a visual library of presets to pick from if you prefer this method. It's also important to note that the prompt suggestions only show if the input box is empty. We may change that later on, but for now, they're only there if you need them. Now, there are two different sets of prompt suggestions, one for image generation, which you just saw, but there's another one for editing images with our remix feature. So for example, if I select this lettering graphic, then click on remix, you'll see a new selection of prompt suggestions like this enamel pin effect will apply to the lettering. And if you want to learn a little bit more about how the remix feature works specifically, we have a video that you can go and check out. I'll link in the cards and down below. But many Kittle users were asking how to help write effective prompts. And by providing these prompt suggestions as a starting place, you can get better outcomes and make image generation more approachable and more rewarding. All right, next we have the prompt builder. And the prompt builder allows you to type in a prompt and then visually pick keyword settings from six different categories, such as style, perspective, lighting, or effects, and so on to build a perfect prompt. All of these categories are optional, so you can skip one if you don't need it, and you can of course go back and add or edit more to your original prompt. So if you've been struggling with which keywords you should be using to get the right image, this is more of a visual way to get what you want. And the last update is one many of you have been patiently waiting for, and that is way more aspect ratios to choose from. So now you'll see all of the standard aspect ratios to choose from when generating your AI images, and some models have even more than 10 aspect ratios. So the feature is model specific. But this feature alone will really help you when you need the exact exact dimensions for your website or social media or really anything else. All right, this was a quick update video, but I hope it was a helpful one. If you're new to Kittle and just checking it out, I do hope you give it a try. You can sign up using the link down below and start using these features right now. And if there are other features you want to see in Kittle, please drop a comment down below so we can add those to the queue. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss important videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.